Hello and welcome back to Danielle's Desk. Today I'm very excited because we're going to be doing some James Method stuff. Um, I believe that, have I introduced the James Method on this channel? I'm really, I'm not certain to be honest with you, but we're doing it now. Um, I love the James Method. I will make sure to have her linked below. It's a website that will, um, you can go to and you can get all the information and I also um, created the James Method Facebook group. So if you're interested in taking a step further and seeing some inspo, then I will definitely have that linked below as well. Um, you, There's still quite a bit available on the website. Um, I'm uncertain if journals are available on the website, uh, but um, I know that she's going to be getting some in stock. If I have done a James Method video, I will have that video linked below, promise. So this is going to be a rather quick video, but I do want to get this set up. These are a few items that I purchased from her, what, about a month ago, I think. Uh, she did some restocks, and these are some things that I wanted. Um, I've made several orders with the James Method, including... Uh, journals both spiral and bound I've uh, purchased the scripture memory journal I've purchased uh, several of her pen pouches her pens I've I've purchased quite a bit from her but this is the last order that I've done so let's go over this quickly um, this is a butter book and it's exactly that it feels just like butter this comes in a couple of different colors and I went out of my comfort zone and got this bluish tone. It's almost like a denim color, but I just love the way this book feels. It has a little bit of gold embossing. It's all plain. In the inside, um, you get a couple of blank pages and this is how all of the pages look. So they're lined. You have the days of the week up there and then you have a place to put the date it's back and front. I'm not sure how many pages you get in here, but as you can see, you get quite a bit. So this is what I'm going to be using for notes, just random notes that I need to make as far as Bible studies. Um, basically, Bible studies is concerned. And so I love the size of this. This can fit um, good in my, um, I have a Bible bag that I use, um, that I tote around on Sundays. And then when I am in precept study on Wednesdays, um, I will also use it for that. So I have this, and then this little baby right here is going to be my new prayer notebook. And this is why I wanted to go ahead and do this video and get this kind of tabbed up and everything is because I am ready to use this one. So this one comes in a, a lot of different patterns. I actually have a couple already in my cart for when um, I'm ready to do another order from her. And so this is the print that I went with. And like I said, I had, there's several different ones and and they are all still, not all of them, I think one or two maybe is unavailable on the website, but there are a lot of fun prints. One of the ones that I can remember that I have in my cart is like a gardening one. It is so pretty, but these are going to be my prayer notebooks. And I love the fact they're super thin. As you can see, they're super thin. These are the pages. They're lined pages. Um, so nothing else is on there besides who I guess did the artwork maybe. And so this is how the inside cover, and I'm, I'm uncertain if all of them look the same way, but this is how this one looks, and I absolutely love the floral. If you want to put your personal information, you can. I'm not, but I am going to be tabbing this up and this up a bit. Um, and then these are the tabs that I purchased. Um, and so I'll go ahead and take these out so you can kind of look at these. I do believe that these are still available on the website as well. Um, and I wanted to, to, to purchase these. So this is the first one and it has point and then you have some that have stars, arrows, and then check marks. I have no idea which ones I'm going to be using at all. This one is somewhere you can just mark the date on there and then these are just color coded. It reminds me of paint swatches. Uh, color coded. There's uh, several different colors. Here's a green colorway. Also, if you wanted to do chapters... We have a couple of chapters there. We have a lavender colorway. And then we have more of like a grayish tone. There's some mauves in there as well. 
Um, in here also gives you um, sort of like some direction on how you should, or a suggestion on how you should tap things up. We may use this um, in my butter one, but for uh, my prayer one, um, I'm unsure how I want to do this. I, I didn't like do any type of like pre-work or anything on how I wanted to set this up or anything. Um, I just know that I do. So, um, what I want to do for this, I don't, I don't think that I want to tab this one up, but I do want to put a couple of stickers. I have a couple of die cuts that I've gotten. Um, I believe that these are from Via Creations and also from Pen Paper and Plans. And I just thought that they were super sweet and I thought that I would want to maybe use them here. Um, I believe that this one is from Pen Paper and Plans. I also have her linked below as well in case you want to order from her and a code. Um, she has a lot of journaling stickers, um, if you're interested in that, and also just regular stickers and, um, a lot of other things. So, I think I want to put this, like, right at the middle. Uh, why not? I mean, let's make our prayer, our prayer notebook pretty. So, also, throw this away. I have this one which is really cute as well um let's put this one on the other side of the page so comment down below and let me know if you use a prayer book or i don't this is like i'm not gonna say this is my first prayer book i remember having a spiral one that i used to keep in my purse like years ago and as the holy spirit prompted me to pray for others and things like that then i would write them down but i'm gonna see if i can grab it i don't think that i can um i have these little they're little half sheets from the happy planner i don't know where they are that's kind of odd because I normally had them down here in my, but I've done some reorganization, so now I don't know where they are. But they're like some half sheets that I would put inside of my half letter that I would use. Um, but it, it's been a while since I've had, you know, like a prayer notebook. Um, So we're not going to put any tabs here because I'm just going to literally be like making lists. But I do want to add a paper clip to kind of mark where I want to be. So um, this is where I store all of my paper clips. I know that, you know, like Daniel, seriously, yeah, seriously. Um, and see what we want to use. So I have like some cute ones. These I got from Robin's Planning Nest. She includes these little birds, which I think are so sweet. I think that I want to use those. Um, let's use all three of those. They're in rose gold. Um, so just, let's just use those just to kind of, look how sweet that is. I love that. So it just kind of like peek through, through the top. I just think that that's really, really sweet. Um, I wanted to put something here um I just don't know I gotta be careful and this isn't supposed to be like a like decorative decorative type thing you know I'm gonna use this this little chunky one here um see how this looks it's not supposed to be like a, a decorative thing but you know what? A green or a pink is really calling me right now. Let's see what we have in like a green or a pink. Ooh, this flower one. Let's do that one. This one, I believe, comes from a shop that's no longer in business. Um, so, oh, that's so sweet. I mean, it just kind of goes perfectly with that. So we're not going to do too much, like I said, with this one, because this is truly a prayer notebook. And like I said, how I will use this is, is that I will write down the names 
write down what the prayer requests are and then we would just go and it's not going to be pretty i probably will never show this again so this will be the first time because i like to keep the prayers confidential i mean it's not like you probably know who the people are but i still like to keep it confidential so we have that so let's move to the butter book i'm telling y'all this feels so good it just feels so good so um we're gonna kind of use our guide here and they put a point at the very top so we're gonna do the exact same and we're gonna go with the blue so we're gonna start off with just this one because as i move from subject to subject or however you want to say it then we'll add points to it so i can kind of section it off so i can get to those specific topics very quickly i already know what the first one is going to be right now i'm studying taming the tongue um we are doing that as a summer uh, bible study lesson in our sunday school class and so i've kind of been writing down things like in index cards and stuff like that because I knew that I wanted to transfer things over here so I know that definitely this first section is going to be that and then um, what I want to do is I want to uh, put the dates so so far we've met three times um, I'm probably gonna have to cut this we met three times to um, discuss it's broken up into 30 days however we are um, taking one day and studying it for one week so that's how we're doing it so we can get the most out of everything so we can really concentrate and ask the Holy Spirit to really speak to us so um, we're really loving it. I will have that book linked below and the workbook if you're interested. I purchased mine from Amazon. This is my actually my second time doing this lesson. The first time was with another class and it was several years ago and I didn't do the workbook when I did this lesson. So this time I am doing the workbook and she has written a lot of books. Um, this author, I can't remember. Her name is Deborah. I forgot her last name, but just FYI, if you're interested, I will make sure to have her linked below. So I'm going to put the first three because I'm going to want to transfer my notes over here. And I'm just using the date and covering that up. I'm going to zoom you in just a tad. Sorry about that. So we have that portion already done. And then I'm going to want to use the chapters. So we're going to use, um, it's supposed to be, should I use the one? So if I use these, there's not enough of them unless I use some of these too. So I could. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just going to put this back here. And this is going to represent day one. So we're going to put day one here. I'm going to bring it down just a tad. Make sure that I line this up appropriately. And I know we use the back page, so I'm going to have to get clever. I hate folding these little things because they're so tedious, I feel. They're so tedious. Okay. And then I'm going to place two right below that because I have two that's on the back. So we're going to place that right below. And I do believe that these are available in the shop. I don't think that they are sold out. Um, okay, perfect. So we have two and then we're gonna put three over on this side. And I wanna make sure that, uh, reminds me of putting Bible tabs on. <laughs> It does, it reminds me of that. And I'm not 
uh, good at putting Bible tabs on, just FYI. I'm not. I don't line them up. I don't have the patience. Oh, look at me. I don't have the patience to do it. So, and they always turn out like cricket, like this is doing right now. <laughs> That's okay. It's my book. So, it's totally fine. All right. So, we have three there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do four, even though we're not gonna do four until next week. I'm gonna go ahead and do four and place that here. That way I don't have to worry about it. All right, perfect. All right, so that's how the tabs look. They are not perfect, but um, we have the point up there so we have the first four days already done so that's great so i'm gonna put away all the rest of them and as i excuse me complete um go through the days of the book and everything then i will continuously add all right so i did want to decorate yet again so um i also pulled these um these are from whimsy lux these are believe kind of old there were just some little dainty ones that I can put along the pages and things like that so I'm going to place this here because I do want to decorate some um, I can't help myself I'm just a planner so I think we're going to use this other die cut and we're going to place this right in the middle I love these I think they're just really dainty and then I have this one right here that we're just going to place on the other side. Now the butter books only come in just um, regular, just plain colors. They don't come in any type of floral or anything like that. So if you're looking for that, they don't come. I think I'm just gonna put this one right in the corner. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have, I'm gonna zoom out just a tad. We have gotten everything set up. I know it wasn't a whole lot. I told you this was going to be a very short video, but I just wanted to show you the two if you are interested in purchasing either one of them. Like I said, um, I will have the link down below for the James Method. And I will also have the link to our Facebook page in case you want some inspiration. So thank you so much for joining me here at Daniel's Desk. If you enjoyed setting up my prayer book and study book, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.